Everyone knows what a push up is, but not everyone knows how to do them correctly. I've done about a million and I've probably done 900,000 of them wrong. <laughs> I, I haven't done near Nine, not anyway, anymore. We're back with Ryan and Tyler from Enfuse Fitness in Enfield, Connecticut. You've got the perfect push up for us. Well, I don't want to say it's the perfect push up, but it's a correct way to do a push up. It's okay? the proper push up. So, what winds up happening, we're inundated with at home programs. Everyone's doing push ups at home, and a lot of people focus on quantity over quality, mm -hmm. okay? Drop it's, down, give me 50. What happens is if you continue to do a movement pattern incorrectly, neurologically, that's how you develop bad patterns that are hard to break. So, mm -hmm. a lot of people, a lot of coaches tell people to start off on their knees. We don't like to do that because it makes it really hard to stabilize the hip and keep a neutral spine. So, we practice for the form that we're trying to achieve and which is a, a conventional, traditional push-up, okay? So, what we're going to do is have Tyler get down first on the floor without these uh, accessory t uh, tools here. And the things you want to make uh, pay attention to is keeps his toes together, so these are locked together. Okay. Now I know there's different kinds of push-ups where you have your arms at different lengths, but for the traditional one, where do you want to put your arms? We're going to focus just below shoulder width, just either shoulder width or just outside of your shoulder width. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And you're going to spread your fingers on the floor, keep your middle fingers pointed forward. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to maintain a neutral spine by contracting the glutes. Okay. Inhaling, get a nice belly full of air, air and tighten down. And now he's going to apply external rotary force on the floor. So he's actually going to turn his hands out hard. Now you're not physically seeing his hands turn, all right? But he's applying torsion force against the floor. That stabilizes the shoulder. So okay? does that mean he's trying? He's putting weight on the outside of his hands? He's putting hands directly through the middle. If somebody oh, was to glue his through hands through the floor, he's turning them outward very, very hard. Okay, to main, uh, maintain that that force in the shoulders. Okay, and now what he's going to do here is he's going to drop straight down, keeping that. The goal here is to try to keep the forearm perpendicular to the floor. Then he's going to exhale as he presses up. The forearm perpendicular? Correct. Oh, okay. okay. So are you you're supposed a, to get all rest. the way down to the floor? You're supposed to br uh, ever so slightly before the floor. You're supposed I to like hold to up. I like to go through full range. Okay. Yeah, you want to go down. All the way chest. So, so your chest up. is touching the floor. So what we're going to do next here is you see a lot of con uh, compensatory issues with people, okay? They can't get to the floor. They sag the lower back. When they come down, they do one of these things, yep. okay, which looks more erotic than it is a push-up. Yep. Right. Okay? So uh, the other problem we have is shoulders. A lot of people that do a lot of push-ups get shoulder problems. They get uh, uh, issues in their elbows. Now, we can't address them all now, but, like, again, we can do a couple different variations. So, Ty, go ahead and get above that again. Hands. We're going to use this as a barometer because he can't go all the way down. Let's say he couldn't go all the way down. Okay. Keeping the elbows in, not letting them flail out, tightening those glutes, down and up. Okay. Now I and notice his elbows are going back. As yes, you don't to want out? you don't want to flail them out. When they flail out, that typically indicates there's a problem with internal external external rotation of the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Okay, which we can't. It's there's mobility drills for later segments if you wanted us to address those, but you want to keep the shoulders closer to the belly or to closer to the body and not flailing out. Okay. Okay. So that's one version of it. The other version of it is Ty can actually go up here and we can bring the apparatus closer so it's more of an incline. Okay? okay. So you can bring this up higher. You can do this up a table. But again, you're maintaining the same structure. The integrity of the movement is the same. Right. Okay? You're just increasing the inclination. Do you want to think about your belly button going in towards your spine? There's different ways. I like to make sure that I inhale when I'm doing a lift. Okay? Full belly, full of air, and then tighten down. Okay? When you go down, you t okay. That's what I like to do. Because mm -hmm. I like to, I, I have carryover for squats, deadlifts, push-ups, pull-ups, dips. The same thing. I have a full belly, full of air, and then I contract. Can I try this? Go ahead. Yeah. Because I, I feel like I've been doing push-ups wrong my whole life. So now... Okay. You're going to put your arms up, up front. Okay. Middle finger facing out. Okay. So get his feet together, touching your toes. You're going to apply external rotary force very hard on the floor, like you're turning your hands apart, like you're spreading mm -hmm. the floor, and then right back up. Is it... Is that closer to How's right? How's he doing? That's not bad. So we're going to have you do it again. You're going to go down, exhale, come back up. It looks sexy, Seth. Thank Look you. At you. Well, you know, I <laughs> try. You have to actually breathe out on the way up. So exhale. Good. And if you want us to do other segments, like I said, on improving the mobility of your shoulders, your thoracic spine, if you have huh. those types of issues that are common compensations, we can absolutely help facilitate a better push-up. Right, exactly. We only have so much time on the show, but there's a lot that we could cover. So if you have anything that you'd like Thank to you see, gentlemen. feel free to write into us. My yeah. at WWLP.com. Reach out to us. Let us know what you want to see. Because we want to make the show all about what you want. Thank you, everyone. Hey, next week. <laughs>